Crystal ball remains inland and the circulation around it is being disrupted by the fact that it's been on land since yesterday morning. The center of it, in fact, is right along the Mexican Guatemalan border, so it is well inland, which again, early computer model runs kind of had it maybe skirting the coast, but staying over water, and that certainly has not been the case. Winds are still at 35, but even the Hurricane Center is saying that may be generous, so it's possible that the winds are down to 30, so it is a very disorganized system. Well, it's kind of interesting. On kind of the coast, uh, northwestern coast of the Yucatan, you almost see a broad little spin. And when we colorize it, you see this broad little spin and a bit of flare up of convection, maybe associated with that and not much as this. Is that a new center trying to form or maybe a new storm trying to form? We'll wait and see, but based on the forecast, this storm is going to stay over land through the afternoon tomorrow and then possibly emerge back over open water. We haven't seen a dramatic change in the forecast from the Hurricane Center. They have shifted a little bit timing. We're looking at late Sunday, early Monday with winds of 60 miles an hour. But again, some of the strongest winds and heavy rain will probably be far away from the center. The model consensus is again staying over land, which is basically what the Hurricane Center is doing. And notice that a lot of the models have shifted a little bit more southwest to south central Louisiana landfall. And so they have kind of shifted their model thinking or their forecast thinking as well. This is what the Euro was saying. Again, there's that broad circulation coming off of the Yucatan moving northward. We start to get in some of the heavier rainfall late Saturday, early Sunday, and the rainfall just gets heavy. We'd start to get some strong winds as well Sunday and on into Monday. That Euro makes landfall in southwestern Louisiana. Again, placing some of the strong strongest winds far farther away from us, at least in terms of where the center is, but we'll likely see tropical storm force winds in some of the bands that set up well away from the center. And why is that? Look at the dry air that has made it down into the here's the Bay of Campeche. Here's the Yucatan. I know sometimes these maps are a little bit difficult to see. That dry air is going to play a huge role in the future intensity of the storm, because at the moment there is dry air all along the Gulf of Mexico and in the Bay of Campeche. And if this storm is able to back through that, that dry air is going to become entrained in the southern and eastern side of it, which will then kind of dissipate any rainfall right along the eastern side and kind of displace it a little bit farther away. So maybe near the center you get some heavy rainfall, then this huge gap of very dry conditions and then another batch of heavier rainfall rainfall totals and all of that impacts of the storm are going to be solely dependent on where some of those bands set up. And at the moment, that is still basically anyone's guess. So just kind of an all encompassing uh, forecast gives us a possible forecast of 10 inches or more. So some of the timing impacts of what we could see rainfall. We'll begin to see some of the tropical downpours late Saturday into Sunday. Again, I think at the highest amounts, 10 plus inches of rain as we continue through the weekend, winds will start increasing. Not likely to see tropical storm force winds as those will likely be probably a little bit more to our east and then storm surge. The greatest surge is going to be Sunday and Monday building up to and just after after landfall and right now the estimates are about four to six feet. So kind of on the low side for some storm surge, but enough that it would cause some coastal flooding and even that water piling up into the lake. Rain chances of the next couple of days kind of scattered. As a matter of fact, high temperatures got into the 90s today. Heavy rainfall and uh, uh, strong winds Sunday and Monday. We'll begin to see rain chances tapering off by Tuesday and then drying out and heating up as we continue into next week. Chris, thanks so much.